Hey Westside, we are continuing the series on spiritual formation. And up until this point, we have talked about the idea of formation uh, really within the individual. So we've talked about the formation of our mind, the formation of our will and our character, formation even of our bodies. Um, but today we're leaning into the formation that happens collectively as we live together. Now I am raising three teenage daughters and maybe it's been like this forever, but I'm telling you right now in getting young people to engage with others, with the church, with um, their community is really challenging. Every area of their life leans toward isolation. Isolation on a computer, on their screens, on their phone. Um, there is just such a resistance toward a communal life in our culture right now. And that is not the way we have been formed or breathed. The life we breathed into us by God uh, is one that collectively breathes into one another. And what does that even look like? How should we think about it? Matthew chapter 5 gives us an idea about that. It says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives life, light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify the Father in heaven. And I want you just to consider that idea, that word picture of a city on a hill. The city doesn't have to do something to be seen. The city existing as it was created draws people to it. The same thing with a light in a dark house, a match lit in the dark expels darkness and it allows things to be drawn to it. So my encouragement to you today, church, is you are made for community. And the light of Christ in you, just being who you are with the love of Christ, it will draw others to you. And when they do, welcome them. Welcome them into your life. Share the journey with them. It's the way we were created to be, and it forms all of us into greater Christ-likeness.